Hey lovelies! Now as you can tell from the title, this is going to be my Sephora VIB sale recommendations for the upcoming sale. Now, <clears throat> hopefully this gets done properly. I'm hoping I'm able, as I'm talking about the items, that I'm able to have a picture somewhere on the screen of the corresponding items I'm talking about. And even if not, they'll still all be linked in the description box below. So I'm going to try to be somewhat as quiet as I can. I'm sorry if you can't hear me over the AC, but it is too hot in here. You guys know the deal. And um, currently my toddler is sick. She's asleep. And it's like 1230 in the morning and I haven't washed off my face or gone to bed. Anyways, we're going to make do with this beautiful eye look. And I'll let it go to waste and film another video. So I decided to do this one. So sit back, get comfy, because it may be a long one. <laughs> now, um, one thing to mention and to note is that there are a lot more items I would recommend, but these are the items that I found still existing on the Sephora website. So that's what I added. Anything that I might have would have mentioned as a recommendation that I did not find on this site, I didn't bother to put it because there's no point, you can't buy it Sephora anymore, so. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the order I normally do my makeup and work from there. So, primers. For primers, I have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer, A1. Now for brows. For brows, I had the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil, the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil, uh, for eyebrow gel, because you know, I like to layer my products in my eyebrows. So I chose the Kosas Air Brow Tint the Eyebrow Gel, then the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Eyebrow Gel, and as far as like regular, like, eyebrow gels that you really don't see no pigment or anything. I chose the Anastasia Strong Cold Clear Brow Gel, the Anastasia Brow Free Styling Wax, and the Patrick Ta Major Brow Shaping Wax. Now personally I own both the clear and the like brown tinted one and I honestly feel like like the brown it when you swatch them both you don't really see much of a difference in the eyebrows. So, I mean, I guess the, the brown color adds a little something, but they're pretty much the same thing. So, you can go either or, to be honest, if you ask me. Now, foundation. I put the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. Now, again, my complexion products may not be to your liking because I have very, very dry skin. So my recommendations for complexion products may be more helpful to those of a similar uh, skin type to my, skin type to mine, dry speaking. I can't really attest to oily or combo because I don't have that issue. So <laughs> I'm just very, very dry. But again, the Fenty Beauty, I feel like I cannot wear all year round, but in the summertime, that is one of my go-to foundations because I'm not as dry in the summer, but I'm still pretty dry all year round. But for the summer, that one's bomb. Now the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Longwear Foundation. This is recently, very recently become a new love of mine. I have tried it <clears throat> about a couple of times. And yes, I am already recommending it. I got it from BoxyCharm, like the last box I opened and I like I'm wearing it now and this is only one pump so and mind you this has been on for over like eight hours so the only thing I did was just retouch my lip gloss everything you know lasted very well I met at it so again <clears throat> the next foundation I recommended was the Too Faced Born This Way the original foundation and the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Again, the original formula, not the Luminous, because the Luminous got like little specks of glitter, sparkles, and no thank you, no ma'am. Um, 
the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. Love that. And I also have a pressed foundation in here. Let me tell you why. I use this like in my little bag whenever I go out as like my touch up powder, but it's really a pressed foundation, a, a powder foundation, I'm sorry. It's a Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Like I said, I only use that on the go for like little touch ups. Mostly like on my nose and like around my smile lines because I have really deep smile lines. So like foundation tends to settle there or like wear off there the most on my nose. For some reason, I can never keep foundation on my nose. I don't know why. So I use that to kind of like retouch up those areas for the most part. And it works and it serves for that purpose. Now setting powder. For setting powder, I chose the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder. I use that to set all around my face and then I use any loose setting powder on really just like in between my brows so it's the only little tiny spot that I get just a little bit oily. I don't know why. So there I set my nose because I feel like if I don't like really bake my nose so to speak the foundation will just wipe off throughout the day. Don't know how. So I find it lasts a little longer if I bake my nose. I do my smile lines, of course, and my chin, and then whatever's left over on the sponge, I will just press into my under eye to just set the concealer. But I use the Charlotte Tilbury Airless Foliage Setting Powder to just set the rest of my face. So I use the beauty sponge, I like go ham in it, and then I just like set the rest of my face. Uh, also, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking Slash Setting Powder. That stuff is also bomb. And the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Powder, which is their version of a loose setting powder. That one's also good. <clears throat> okay, for bronzers, I have the Iconic London Sheer Bronze Liquid Bronzer. And I have the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. Oh, chef's kiss. If you don't pick up anything at all from this cell, that has to be one of the items in your cart. Like, you will not regret it. You, 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 need, you need that item in your life. Love that bronzer stick. And it's like, it, it, it's literally foolproof. You, you cannot mess it up even if you try it. I don't have it on today, but it's... Oh, it's um then i have the fenty beauty sun stalker instant warmth bronzer that's actually what i'm wearing today i think the shade i have on is shady biz that's what my bronzer is today i have a little mini one so again got that in the kit really nice and also an oldie but a goodie i think is the Too faced chocolate soleil matte bronzer i would have put the chocolate gold because i prefer that one more but i checked sephora and it looks like they no longer carry it so I do like the regular Chocolate Soleil matte bronzer, but I think I would have preferred because since I have both, I, I honestly feel like I reach more for the gold one versus the regular one. So just putting that out there. For contour, I chose the Fenty Beauty Match Stick Matte Contour Stick. So that one is a little more uh, not as emollient as the Rare Beauty. I prefer the Rare Beauty, but the Rare Beauty is more of a bronzer stick. And the Fenty Beauty is more of a contour stick. So again, contour is more cool tone, bronzer is more warm tone. So contour, you just wanna like chisel out the contours of your face. Bronzer is to add warmth back into your face to put more color so you're just not flat and one color. <laughs> like you got some dimension going on. Anyway. Okay, let me step down off my pedestal. So yeah, I like that stick bronzer. Then I also have the Patrick Ta Major Sculpt Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Bronzer Duo. So now this duo has a powder bronzer and a cream contour all at once. So again, I like the shade number two, which is a medium, marketed for you know medium skin tones. So love me some of that and another like really really old goodie like really old <laughs> like i don't even think nobody talks about this in the, make in the makeup community anymore but it's the kvd shade on light um powder contour palette like i still have mines and it's like 
I need to get the refills for it, but whenever I check the website, it's like I could only buy the refillable palette. I mean, with the refills inside, but I can't buy just the refills separately. And like, I have the refillable palette, but the refill, there's four shades I need a refill for, and it's like the refills for it are never in stock. Sick. so yeah again another oldie but a goodie very reliable that's like pretty much all i use for the first year of me you know playing with makeup love that thing loved it to death um blush for blush i chose the rare beauty soft pinch liquid blush um then i chose the fenty beauty cheeks off freestyle cream cream blush uh, the Tarte Sea Breezy cream blush and the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush which is their their matte, matte blush I believe uh, Hourglass Hourglass Ambient Lighting blush and the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moments and Velvet blush that's like his powder blush and you know like only powder i like both of his blushes but that one's a good one and the buxom wanderlust primer infused blush of that one and the my favorite my favorite of all favorites when it comes to blush <laughs> is the patrick ta major beauty headlines double take cream and powder blush so now that blush has the cream on top with a little window to cover the cream and then the powder on the bottom portion love love that formula for highlighter because you guys <laughs> you guys know i'm a highlighting whore um <laughs> i honestly don't even have too much highlight highlighters to mention if i'm gonna be honest but anyway these are what I like. The Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. The Smashbox and That Good Shimmery Skin Perfector Highlighter. Uh, the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. The Anastasia Sun Dip Glow Kit. And the Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlighter. See, that wasn't a lot of highlights. <laughs> Now setting spray. For setting spray, I recommend the Urban Decay Ultra Glow All Nighter Setting Spray. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they, like I know for a fact they used to have uh, the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. I know because I, I, I still have mine. I have just a little bit left. And I think what they did was they abandoned that because I don't see it on the website no more. Now they have something called the ultra glow all nighter so i'm assuming that's what they replaced it with but that's what they replaced it with so again can't go wrong there the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray love that setting spray and the anastasia dewey says setting spray there's also another one uh from fenty beauty like the dewey set or something i don't remember what it was but I think it was something dewy. I don't know, but it was the um it wasn't the that one. That's all I know. But their setting spray is also really good. But for some reason on Sephora, I could only see the mini one. I cannot see the full size like at all on there. So I don't know if they're solely doing away with that or what. But that one's also a really good setting spray. Now my favorite eyeshadows. Okay, I had the Natasha Denona Mini Nude. The Huda Beauty Haze Obsessions, the khaki one to be exact. The Artist Couture Supreme Nudes, the original one. The Huda Beauty Nude Obsessions, both the Medium Nude and the Nude Rich. Uh, Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. The Anastasia Norvina Palette. The Too Faced Teddy Bear It All Eyeshadow Palette. Too Faced Born This Way, The Natural Nudes, 
uh, Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eye Palette. Uh, I would have also said the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, but if you're going to pick up both, I would probably say pick up the Glam Eye and Face over the eyeshadow only because, you know, there's a highlighter and blush in that one versus the regular glam one is just eyeshadows but of course since it's all eyeshadows there's more variety because it's a you know fuller palette so i mean you can't go wrong either way i love them i own them both i love them both dearly moving on natasha denona retro eyeshadow palette the huda beauty the new nude eyeshadow palette the huda beauty rose quartz eyeshadow palette huda beauty naughty nude eyeshadow palette <laughs> i'm gonna stop saying eyeshadow palette <laughs> this is very redundant patrick Todd major dimensions and the natasha down a bronze palette yes ma'am do i have any more on here i feel like i'm gonna finish this video and think of more so if i do have to think of more i didn't say it in the video it will most likely be linked in the description box below so have fun okay for eyeliner i don't think i'm really that picky and i don't really do a weighing like it's like i can but it takes me so long and plus like my ocd kicks in so it's like if they're both not perfect i'm gonna want to like wipe off my whole face and i'm a busy mom and i can't do that so therefore i just don't do it like i used to always love wearing lashes too but like I've been using this eyelash serum that I got in a boxy charm. It's from Lily Lashes, and I like these are my natural lashes, and like they're like super long. So I don't really think I need to wear false lashes, but I mean, I like them to have them for when I want to wear them. But for the most part, I've just been rocking my natural lashes and keeping it like that. Again, where was that eyeliner? Um, I think my favorite eyeliner would be the Urban Decay Twenty Four Seven uh eyeliner pencil i just feel like there's no reason to mention any more than that like that's 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 my favorite that's it like i, I like the color pop too but kinky color pop is the four so uh mascara i like the two face better than sex volumizing mascara the tart lights camera lashes mascara and the anastasia lash brag jeff black volumizing mascara <sighs> okay for lip liner I like the Patrick Ta lip liner and the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. Let's see, gloss. Gloss, my favorite glosses are the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs, the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer Lip Glosses. Heads up, those are on sale right now. So if they're still available around the VIB sale as well, it's like you're getting a discount off of something that's already on sale. And it's a great formula. So like, go ahead and grab it. Like. What are you waiting for? You heard it here first. So those look lost to bomb. What else? Oh, the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumper Lip Gloss. The Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream. Because they have a lip polish and a lip cream. I prefer the lip creams. The lip creams are more pretty much just a gloss with like some pigment in it. Whether the lip uh, polish is more of like a glitter not as much pigment but heavy on the glitter so again i prefer the lip cream i'm actually wearing a buxom lip cream right now in the shade rose julep just in case you want to know and the anastasia beverly hills of gloss i feel like nobody talks about those but i really like the anastasia beverly hills of gloss formula not the liquid lipsticks oh my god the liquid lipsticks are so dry i don't even know why it's why why they didn't do it with that why didn't they reformulate that Get it. If you want, if you want butthole lips, get the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. Cause, yeah, if you, if you if you thought your lips are dry, you would really know how dry your lips are if you were to put that stuff on your lips. So the liquid lipstick, no, but the Anastasia lip gloss, really good. Uh, for lipsticks, I don't think I really have any favorites as far as lipsticks go. I guess Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, liquid lipsticks. I love the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte and the Too Faced Melt in that. 
and the Patrick Ta Monochrome Silky Lip Cream. I really want to try his new gloss they just came out with. So maybe I'll pick up one. We'll see. And that is it for my recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And with any luck, hopefully you guys saw pictures to the corresponding products. And if you can, go in the, in the comments down below and let me know what you guys want to pick up or what you're excited about doing. Um, again, this was mainly just all makeup, but Sephora sells makeup, skincare, perfume. So I do intend on picking up a perfume. I do intend on picking up some type of skincare, but Sephora, I mainly go makeup heavy, to be honest. Again, don't expect a big haul. I'm still paying off my credit card, so I'm of course going to shop this sale, but it's not going to be nowhere near as big of a haul as that I normally do. It's going to be something very, very small. So please, please tell me in the comments below what you guys want to pick up, what you guys um, are excited about. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Patrick Ta just released the pictures to his new eyeshadow palette. So... I'm definitely getting that. So expect a review. But I, I, I had to mention it. So I think at this point, I'm probably picking maybe two eyeshadow palettes. I'm not going to give it all away. You guys will see. But have a good one. And good night for me. Good morning for you. I don't know when I'll be watching this. But bye. <laughs>